Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve exponential equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So last time, we had a upload a video wherein we defined um, exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. Now, para series natin ng topics with regard to general mathematics and exponential equation, function, and inequality, ang next part ng ating video is all about solving exponential equations. And before we dive into these different examples na meron tayo, okay, let's have the property of equality for the exponential equation. We have here, if b raised to n is equal to b raised to m, then n is equal to M. Sir, hindi ko pagets si yung property na meron tayo. Now, uh, let me give you the background or a simple explanation about this. Ngayon, ito si property nito. We can use this property to solve these different exponential equations. Simple lang ang ibig sabihin nito. Dito, your variable b, sila yung base na meron tayo. Base. And yung n and m na meron ka, these are exponents of the different bases. Ito yung, ano dyan, guys. If the bases are equal, as you can see, para sa B, if the bases are equal, ibig sabihin daw, the exponents N and M are equal. So, pwede tayo mag-solve ng mismong hinahanap natin value ng variable X. As you can see, yung variable X kasi ay nasa mismo exponent ng bases na meron tayo. Okay? So, let's have item number 1 para mas makita nyo paano ba gamitin yung property na meron tayo. For number 1, we are given 4 raised to 2x minus 1 is equal to 64. Yung base natin dito sa left side of the equation is 4. Dito naman ay 64. We're in the exponent of 4 is 2x minus 1 while 64 has the exponent of invisible 1. So, sir, paano po natin kailangan gawin dito? First, kailangan maging equal ang ating base. Pero kung mapansin mo, yung base natin, they are different. Pero meron tayong, meron magbibigasan yung clue kung paano ba ginagawa. As you can see, meron tayong 4 na base sa left side. Yung base naman natin sa right side ay 64. In which, ang kailangan i-adjust ay yung 64 kasi okay na to. Okay na yung 4 natin. Mababa yung base natin. So, what you will do is isipin mo, paano ba magiging equal si 64 kay 4? Or paano ba magkakaroon ng base na 4 si 64? Remember, yung 64 natin ay part ng multiples of 4. Pag meron tayong 4 raised to 1, that is 4. Pag meron tayong 4 squared, that is 16. Kapag meron tayong 4 cubed, that is equal to 64. Ibig sabihin guys, we can rewrite 64 or we can express 64 in exponential form as 4 cubed. So what you will do is to rewrite the exponential equation bilang ganito. So we will copy the left side. We have 4 raised to 2x minus 1. At yung 64 natin is equivalent to 4 raised to 3. As you can see, expressing 64 as 4 cubed, naging parehas na yung mismong base na meron tayo. The bases are equal. So, going back with the property, since the bases are equal, we can equate the exponents. Again, we can equate the exponents. We're in our new equation to solve for the variable x is that we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. Kinuha lang natin yung exponents, guys. Now, solving for the variable x, um, shortcut lang tayo, I will transpose negative 1 to the other side, but always remember, guys, uh, when you're transposing a term, nagbabago ang sign. If that is negative, it will become positive. Pero kung positive yan, magiging negative. So, transpose natin. 
So transposing negative 1 to the other side, it will give you the equation of 2x is equal to 3 plus 1. Okay? Now, adding these numbers, it will become 4. Okay, 4. And then to solve for the variable x, all you need to do is to divide the whole equation by 2, cancel and cancel. And then there you have it, you have x is equal to 2. This is the variable, the value of x in the given exponential equation 4 raised to x minus 1 is equal to 64. Sir, uh, paano ba natin nalilangan kung tama ba tayo? So, ang gabi natin, we will check for item number 1 na, we will do checking lang. For the checking part, so gabi natin, we will replace um, x as 2 sa mismong given equation natin. Checking lang tayo guys. For checking, we have 4x, uh, sorry, 4 raised to 2x minus 1 is equal to 64. Okay? So we will replace this by 2. That is 4 raised to 2 times 2 minus 1. Yung x natin, pinagda natin ng 2 because x is equal to 2. And then equal to 64. Now, simplifying exponents of 4, 2 divided by, uh, sorry, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1. That is 4 raised to 3. And then equal to 64. Remember that 4 raised to 3 is 64. And as you can see, they are equal. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung sagot natin na x is equal to 2 is the correct answer for item number 1. So let me erase this. Now let us continue with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given the equation or the exponential equation 2 raised to 5x is equal to 4 raised to 2x minus 1. So, ang gagawin natin dito guys, since hindi parehas yung base natin, kailangan gumawa tayo ng paraan to make them equal. This is 2 and 4. Ang i-adjust natin ay yung 4. We will express 4 bilang 2 raised to 2. Remember ha, 2 times 2 is 4. So, equal lang yan. Pero, meron pa tayong exponent na 2x minus 5. So we will put parentheses here, 2x minus 1. And then on the other side, we will copy 2 raised to 5x. Okay? So ngayon, as you can see, yung basis natin ay equal na. So we, we can use the property, if b raised to m is equal to b raised to m, then m is equal to m. We will equate the exponents. This is 5x and this is... 2 times 2x minus 1. Wherein, we can use this derivative property to multiply 2 to 2x. So we will have 5x is equal to 2 times 2x is 4x. And then, 2 times negative 1, that will give you negative 2. Now, if you want to solve for x, you need to combine like terms. So we will transpose 4x to the other side of the equation. And remember, from positive, it will become negative. So this is our new equation. We have 5x minus 4x. Since this is positive, when we transpose it, it will become negative. So it is equal to negative 2. Okay? Now, simplifying 5x minus 4x, it will give us the answer of x. And our x is equal to negative 2. This is the value of x in item number 2, which is negative 2. I hope na nakuha niyo yung mismong um, ginagawa natin from item number 1 and item number 2. By the way, pwede nyo naman siyang i-replay later after nyo panoorin to. Now, let's move on with the last example. For the last example, we are given 5 raised to x plus 2 equal, equals 125 2x. Raised to 2x. Ngayon, meron na yung clue kasi yung 125 is a multiple of 5. So, we adjust natin na base ay yung 125. So, we will copy this one. 5 times, sorry, 5 raised to x plus 2 is equal to 125. Sorry. Express natin yung 125 bilang exponential form. Yung 125 natin is equal to 5 cubed. Again, 5 cubed. Because 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, that is 
125. So 5 cubed times 2x. And as you can see, equal name base natin, guys. Now, we will use the property. Diba? If the bases are equal, the exponents are equal. So we can equate the exponents as x plus 2 is equal to 3 times 2x. And we know that 3 times 2x is 6x. So our new equation is x plus 2 is equal to 6x. Now, sir, what's next? To solve for the variable x, I will transpose x to the other side of the equation. Kasi mas malaki yung 6x. Para hindi na magkaroon ng negative sign. So, our new equation is 2x is equal to 6x minus x. Okay? And simplifying this, copy 2 and then 6x minus x is 5x. So, next natin gagawin dito is to divide the whole equation by 5. Divide this by 5 and cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 2 over 5. Or, if hindi kayo sanay sa ganito, you can um, rip, uh, change the position of x and 2 over 5. Pwede siya maging or x is equal to 2 over 5. Ito na mismo yung kasagutan sa so number 3. The value of x is 2 over 5, which is a fraction. And guys, ganun lang siya guys. As long as alam niyo yung ibig sabihin o yung mismong uh, context ng ating property, hindi ka mawawala pagdating sa solving um, exponential equations. And another thing pala, dapat marunti kayo sa exponents. So by the way guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Dorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!